Hey guys, this is uh, Nerdvana again, and today I'm going to be doing a small tutorial on a 2D platformer for Game Maker. And basically, what I'm going to do is uh, show you how to set up moving clouds so that they, you know, they sway back and forth, left to right, or up and down, whichever one. But let me go ahead and demo exactly what I'm talking about here, real quick. And I apologize for not posting anything up over the last uh, few weeks. I've been trying to build this entire thing. And the problem with it is, you know, I'll build something, then I'll build something else, and they may actually give each other errors. So trying to avoid that before I even post anything up, because what would be the point of me giving you or helping you do coding if it's just going to break on you, of course, you know? Here we go. There are the the clouds, the moving clouds, like I said. And I've got mine set up at different time intervals so that they move around on their own, back and forth, and they're not in unison. You know, you don't see all three clouds moving at the same time, back and forth. But let's go ahead and go back on this real quick. All right, first thing you're going to want to do, of course, is create your little cloud sprite. Um... Depending on your game, it may be a different size from mine, so I'm not even going to post up the cloud that I have. Um, be sure to check visible and check solid. You want them set up like that. Um, your depth is depending, again, on your game. Um, if you have, you know, different depth set up, then you'll want to change that around. And you will have to go back probably to one video where I show you how to do gravity but it is posted up and uh, for those of you who, who already went through that you're gonna want to use the object solid that I told you how to create a while back all right and drop your creative end in here go to control drag your code over when it opens up all you're gonna put in is turn equal zero And this is going to be uh, from left to right. Yeah. Then you put in your step event. Go to control again. Drag your code over. And when it opens up, you're going to have mode patrol true. And I just put a little bit of info right here. Basically, it's, you know, moves. Um, it actually shouldn't be enemy. It should be cloud. Moves cloud back and forth in patrol mode. If patrol mode equals true, turn your bracket on. If turn is higher than or equal to 60, then you want to set your H speed equal to 1. Else, if turn is less than 60, you want to set your H speed to equal negative 1. Close your brackets. And then put turn plus equals random to. Basically what that does is every time it goes through the step event, it'll add either 1 or 2 to the, uh, the turn variable. And once it hits 120, if turn equals or higher than or equals to 120, then it'll just reset turn to 0. Basically, like I said, what that does is once you set it up over here. Nope, I don't know why I went to that. Let me open it up again. But yeah, once you set it up, it'll move the cloud back and forth. And what the random timer does is, like I said, it'll keep them from going in unison. So if you have, you know, three of them set up, they won't all three move at the same time. Instead, you'll see one maybe move to the left, and then the other one start moving to the left. And then, you know, maybe this one will switch over first, and then start moving to the right again before this one even swaps over to start moving to the right again. The reason I put mode patrol in here, which actually this should actually go into 
the create event. I don't know why I put it in here. Is if you want, you can actually create a little collision using a collision line so that whenever your character is actually standing on top of the platform it'll turn mode patrol to false and basically just stop it from moving so if you were to set you know collision if collision line blah 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 right above with object player mode patrol equals false and if mode patrol equals false then set all speeds to zero or uh, yeah set all speeds to zero for the cloud and that would really be about it now, if you're trying to swap it over from, what is it, uh, oh, uh, vertical, my apologies, um, all you actually have to do is instead of hitting h speed equals 1 or, you know, h speed equals negative 1, you would type in v speed for vertical speed. So h speed would be for horizontal, which is left to right. v speed is vertical speed for up and down. And that's really about it, guys. Uh, I will try and get something set up here in the near future uh, for some more tutorials. Uh, working on ladder, bosses, enemies, and some of the collision lines. Um, if you have any questions over this, just go and drop me a line and I will try and help you out with it. Uh, that's really about it. So enjoy, guys. Uh, have fun implementing this into your uh, game.